Welcome back everyone. We are on our final video of our teddy bear patchwork lesson. Uh, this is really going to be exciting because you're going to see the lesson come to life even more so today. So I want to go over the materials that you're going to need to get started. You are going to need your six squares that you have fully designed teddy bear and background totally and completely designed. You're going to need your scratch paper, eraser, sharpie, and either color pencils or color crayons. So if you, oh, and, and if you have one of your teddy bears at home that you'd like to go grab, go grab that and come on back. Sarah has her teddy bears. This is the Loma Vista and this is the Loma Vista. This is my two bears that I sleep with. And these two are white bears and this is from Tim. Okay. <laughs> All right, so go get what you need. Come on back, press the play, and we'll keep going. I'm gonna show you Sarah's workspace. The reason why I'm gonna show it is for organization purposes. So if you look at Sarah's workspace, she has her um, scratch paper ready to go. She has her six squares in front of her. Her Sharpie, she grabbed two Sharpies. She did a thin and a thick. You received um, one at the, at the um, September pickup of material day. And uh, if you have a thinner Sharpie at home, grab that or just a regular black pen. Or if you don't have either of those two, then you can leave some areas that are really finely detailed just in pencil and color. And if you don't have any eraser on your pencil, like I don't really, and I have this pencil, and look at that eraser. And somebody do that. Okay. All right. All right. So grab a pencil, an eraser, and then she has her color pencils. So that's her workstation. It's all organized, ready to go. And then Sarah wanted to show you my workstation. Hi everyone. All right, here's my workstation ready to go. All right. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is pick, choose one of your squares, put it on top of your scratch paper, Uncap your Sharpie. Oh, what well, if you have a thin one and you have very little ones, like for the cursives, then you can. Yep. Okay. All right, and just start tracing. We're going to trace all of our pencil lines. If there are any pencil lines that are really, really tiny and the Sharpie might be too thick, don't trace over it. You can color it later with the color pencils or your color crayons. So or your thin, um, the thin little markers if you have yeah maybe you have some thin markers we're just going to be flexible and use what we can get our hands on so right now we are just sharpening all of our pencil and lines my sharpie is going actually um a little off the pencil so i'm going to erase the pencil after i do all this okay so what sarah is talking about is when she's all done tracing any pencil lines that are showing, she has decided she is going to erase. I'm going to leave that as an option for everybody because I know that that can get tiresome. So that's why I had you tiresome? bring tiresome. So that means you can get tired doing it. Oh, yeah. So, um, here we go. Um, so that's going to be an option, the erasing part, but that's why I had you bring the eraser. Or, yeah. I was going to say something else. But. Okay. So I'm just going to Sharpie in all of my lines. And look at Mama. I was going to do that straight line, and that's part of my straight line. Okay. Oh, can I show them something with your star, Sarah? Uh, sure. Okay. So I wanted to show you guys something. A lot of our strategies when we, do our straw, uh, when we draw our stars, it involves crossing the lines, right? I want to show you something you can do when you're tracing so that you can get rid of the lines that have crossed. Oh, this is an option. May I show it with yours? Yeah, I actually want to because I don't want the lines. 
You don't want the lines crossing? Okay, like so Sammy. some of you might want the lines crossing. Um, yeah, so Sammy did his lines not crossing. Oh, I see the little. Yep, he erased. And then Joey, actually, his stars do cross. So it's really, it's it's really uh, your choice. It's, it's what your creativity calls for. So this is, I'm gonna show you a strategy. If you do have uh, stars that you don't want the lines to cross, you trace what's called the contour lines. Those are the lines on the outside of the star only. Remember how we did the contour lines of the marching band member? Yeah, and Same then you, concept. And then you erase at the end. And then you erase at the end. I'm gonna do one more. So I'm just gonna trace the outside. They're actually little triangles, if you will, on the outside. I'm gonna trace the outside triangles. And then I'm gonna cap just to show you, I'm going to cap my Sharpie and I'm going to don't erase, erase the, other the inside. Oh, Sarah says don't erase the other stars. I won't, I promise. <laughs> you can save the erasing for later, but I just want to show you what it looks like after you have erased the pencil lines. All that's left is the contour line out, um, of the shape of the star. So that's an option. I just wanted to show that. you that strategy. So go ahead and keep sharpening everything. Use your sharpie to outline, to trace the outline, to trace all your pencil lines. Now this is gonna take some time. This might take you a whole sitting. This might just be what you do today. You well, school, remember? You could, or if you're doing this on the weekend. Yeah, you can do this. Yeah, it depends on when it gets assigned and when it's due. Um, trying to be flexible with with that. This can take you a whole afternoon for, um, yeah. for school. So like I said, this could be a couple, a couple times sitting down to do this. Oh, I'm drawing my hearts with the fat, the, not the fat one, but with the regular one, not the thin one, because I draw my hearts pretty big. You, mine are, a little bigger than yours, so I'm doing it with this one, but you might have to do it with with the small one. The thin one. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna just keep on going with my Sharpie. You know what, Sarah? What? We forgot to go over those four points that you read every time. Do you wanna do that? Sure. Just as a reminder? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pause. You guys, when if you're working right now, you, you just keep, work, you but can, you, you keep listen. tracing. You could just listen to, to Sarah, to get, uh, giving you the reminders. Number one, always try your best. Number two, if you get first grade, take a deep breath. Count to ten, take a deep breath, and try again. Number three, everyone's art will turn out differently. Your artwork is uniquely yours. Number four, art is not perfect. And number five, always have fun, even though it's not hard. It's not on here. Oh man, I forgot to add it to our, our list. Okay, maybe I'll hopefully add it before the next lesson. Okay. Well, so you don't have to. We can just imagine it's in the air, but you can just if remind you want, everybody. If you want, if you want, if you want. Okay. All right. I am trying my best. How about you, Sarah? Me too. I'm um almost done with the hearts, and I'm done. So now I'm on to. I'm gonna do that. Um, stars and then the cursive because I did a lot. They're like almost touching, but you did it more. Okay. Oh. When you show your work, you have to kind of pause for a second so everyone can see it and then you can take it. Okay. I'm doing the stars, mommy. So um, you're gonna do that strategy that I that I introduced. Yeah. The so contour lines. You can't get in it. Okay. In the line, so I'm gonna... Yeah, just do your best. All right. Ooh. You know what? I think these E's are plenty big for me to use this sharpie. Mm -hmm. All right. The thin one is super well because um, it doesn't have a thick. It has like a little tiny point. Uh, yeah, that's true. 
You can find Sharpies of all different thicknesses. Um, I have only thicknesses. seen this one and the fat, fat ones and this one. I've only seen those three as well. But there could be more. There's the big ones that, uh, that you can use for posters. I used it I used it last time for the marching band lesson. Oh yeah, that fat one? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. That one. Okay. Alright, I'm almost done. I have one more star to get for this whole square. This part. I'm almost done with my first square. So what you're going to do is you're going to do all six of your squares. And I need one more thing to complete my first one. Wait, is this your first one? This is my first one. So Sarah and I are both almost done with our first square. Six squares, that's a lot of stamina. Mm -hmm. So if that means you would uh, like to get up, take a break, stretch in between each square, you can do that. You can do uh, maybe two or three squares in one sitting and come back and do two or three squares in another sitting until they're all done. It's really your, it's your choice as to um, what works best for your body. And after the other one, the third video, I actually was not done doing my background and I um, ended up doing a break a little bit and then getting back onto the, this fourth video, right, Mom? Like that I, is I was correct. Like, I was going to do other squares. You might see pinch marks, you might not. But then I ended up doing this because it would take too long. Can I speak to that real quick? Sarah was designing um, a different uh, background right here, and she started to get frustrated. It wasn't working out for her. So she took a deep breath. She kind of shook it off. She decided to erase it, and she chose a different pattern to do. I was like halfway there, but I'm like, no, I, it was going to take too long, and I was like, it's too much. It was too much. Okay. Okay. I just want to do some lines. All right. When you are all done designing your first square, you can choose to erase your pencil lines if you'd like. If that's not something that's up your, your alley, that's not something you want to do, then just put it off to the side and pick up your second square and keep going, okay? So I am not going to take this whole video to, to do all six of them. It would be a fairly long video, yeah, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you um, pause the video and finish up all your tracing. When you are all done with your black Sharpie, you come back to this part of the video and you pick back up with Sarah and me, okay? I am just gonna color one of them. Mom, mommy, while they're coloring, can I still Sharpie? Cause... Yep. So why don't you cap, finish up tracing uh, the last the part, e. the, the last part of yours, cap it up, and then do your erasing if you choose to do erasing. And then follow back, end. you're going to do it at the end. Okay, follow back along with me. All right. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, I have my other squares that I will eventually get to for sharpening. You are going to do all six of your squares sharpening before you do the next step. I'm practicing my ease a lot. All right, so press the pause button. Finish up all six squares. If that means you're coming back on another day or later in the day or later in the afternoon, whenever it works out for you, then come on back. Click back on the link. We are at minute around minute 14. And so you can fast forward to minute 14 and you can pick back up to where we are. So at this point now, you've pressed play and you're back with me. And you are going to get your either your color pencils out or your color crayons. And you're going to get really, really colorful here, okay? So I'm going to show you Joey and Sam's. I like Sam's a lot. He did a lot of colors, even Joe. Mm-hmm. They both did. They both did a lot of colors. So really did their best coloring in all the parts of each square. 
I like Unless you intended for something to be white. So like the whites of the eyes are not colored in. I like okay? when he did um, sorts of like, um, what are those? I don't know what these are, but I like when you did that pink. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to show you Sam's. Nice and colorful as well. The best bear on Sammy's is probably this one. That's your so opinion, cute. that that's the one you like the best? It's so cute. It's so cute. So I'd like to talk about that. When we are, talking about, when we are giving compliments to um, other people's artwork, um, I'd like us to be careful about the words we use. Um, it could hurt other people's feelings. Like if you were to say, oh wow, that's the best I've ever seen, or that's the best one in the class. What you could say is, wow, out of all of your bears that you've designed, I like this one the best. Yeah, and Joey's, I probably like. I'll show you all of them. I probably like this one. That one the best? Okay. The hat, the up to waist one. Okay. All right. I opinion. also want you to uh, have positive self talk towards yourself. This is mine. So now Sarah's caught up with me. So here we go. So this one's mine, this one's Sarah's, and we are ready to start coloring. So if you do want those erased, now is the time to erase because you want to erase before you color. I'm going to do yellow. What's that? I'm going to do yellow. You, okay. So go ahead and erase. I'll hold this still. Steady. Excuse me. Um, okay. Erase. Okay, I'm erasing. Okay, Sarah's erasing. Almost done. Ah. Sarah's workspace still nicely, neatly organized. Are right, you ready? Bent. It's okay if it got bent. But you're going to glue it so it's going to I am going to glue it down. Okay. All right. Now, whatever you chose, whether it's uh, color crayons or color pencils, just start going. And I'd like everything colored unless it's actually intended to be white. And down. you don't have to do what my mom does for her colors. You can do you, your own or you can copy. Correct. You can do whatever you'd like. Okay. So this teddy bear, I'm going to have this teddy bear be brown. Like you can do your stars whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be uh, um, yellow. Right. You can be creative and and do different colors to it. But I'm doing And, Mommy, are we going to have to color, like, the background yep, of it? everything. We're going to color it all in. I think for the stars, um, I'm going to do blue. Awesome. Keep going. You might, at home, you might want to put some music on while you're coloring. Good, Mom. You do it on your phone. I love music when I'm doing my arts and crafts type of stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna do the background of it. All right, I'm gonna finish the bear. Sarah, do you yeah. think I should play some music? Yeah. Should I put the my Pandora on? Pandora. <laughs> yeah, I can put some Pandora on. Um, so I really enjoy this Pandora station a lot. It's just musical instruments and it's to like the, the songs that are really popular on the radio right now. But no words. So I'll play a little bit of music. See it's not the words, it's the, the instruments. That's right. And you guys can listen to this too. Sorry, the um, the stand I'm using it's shaking when I'm coloring. Should I turn it down? Sarah's saying turn it down. 
can't really hear you. How's that? Yeah, good, but what were you saying, Kelly? I was saying I'm sorry. I'm, it, the iPad's shaking a little bit as I'm as I'm doing this because. Um, Mommy, can you get a sponsor from this because it's not good? Draw. I want to get all these edges, and sometimes my pencil goes off, so it doesn't get on the table. Great. Yes, that is exactly why we use the scratch paper. White for the hearts, I'm probably gonna do pink for the hearts and then red on the background. That's a great idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my Loma Vista uh, bear shirt like um, a dark blue. Let's see, where's my dark blue? Oh. Mm, You can do your, if you did the Loma Vista, you could do it whatever color you want. You could do it purple, you can do it green, whatever color. You don't have to just do it blue, right? You could do, you, this is your, your creation. You pick the colors. And I am really waffling this. I'm sorry, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's really waffling. <laughs> and you know what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing the background now. I'm going to do the background behind the bear. Yeah. Okay, that's not right. Oh my. I just know I guess. that her daddy hold the <laughs> or Zachy. Zachy. No, that's okay. That's okay. Can't hold it. <laughs> I don't have to, I'm not gonna color them with color pencil. Wait, can they color it with color pencil? Like, yes, yes, it, that, that was the option. If, they, if they're Sharpie, if they did lines that are too small together, then they can just color, uh, leave it penciled and do um, color crayons and, and color pencils. Table 
Oh, it's a commercial. Okay, I'm gonna stop the music because I I'm not gonna do a commercial with you guys. Just okay. Go put it over there and then one step grab. Wait, can't you skip the commercial or no? No, I don't. I don't sign up for the free Pandora. Oh, I heard on a commercial you said, oh, you just pay ten bucks a month for no commercial. Yeah. All right. Turn the volume. I turn the volume down, and then we can come back in a little bit and see if there's no more commercials. All right. Are you done? Well, I you got. Oh, great! You got those two done. So Sarah decided to do the background first, and then she's gonna do her bear after at the end. Is that what you decided? Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and this, I'm um, the background. I'm still not sure, so I'm gonna do this background. Okay, you're and deciding. I can just color over it. I can even color over the sharpie because. Right. And then can I can I say something about this? You could do like a color pattern, two different colors alternating, going in between. You can even pick three different colors and alternate them. Me and Sam did the opposite. That she did pink on the outside and he did red inside mm -hmm. so okay. it's okay but mm -hmm. all right i'm gonna keep coloring <laughs> let's see let's see if the commercial's over is it there we go all right Well, I, I hope you guys are enjoying our, our homemade videos doing these art lessons. Oh, I'm going to do purple for the Curse of Eats. Okay. So Sarah's doing purple. I'm doing green. Sarah and I are almost done coloring our first, our, our first square. And when we're done, that's where we're going to uh, leave off. Yep. But we I'm going to work on one more bear today. But... Um, and then I'm gonna do the rest probably tomorrow when my brother does his video. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do another uh, art lesson. I'm gonna with do an Zach. art lesson with Zach tomorrow. And Zach's here with us. He's watching us. He's talking to my mom. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the hearts. I'm gonna do what Sarah did. I'm gonna pick two colors and I'm gonna do one color inside the heart and one color um, in the background. So that's gonna require a little bit of more precision. Yeah, but so you gonna, don't have to do a color that I do. I'm gonna do orange for my hearts. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. I'm trying my best. Enjoying myself. You will have to excuse the shakiness of the iPad. This is just how this lesson is. Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you're not really looking up and you're just listening to us and you're coloring right now. Sarah's looking down. I'm looking I'm down. I'm sometimes looking um, at you how you're feeling, but sometimes I'm looking. Yeah. Because while, while you're coloring and looking, it's... um not really good because then you might mess up on a part and it's hard to erase um, color pencils. It is hard to erase color pencils. We're just trying our best. You, you should we just... We are... Um, if we get frustrated, you take a break. If you just need a break, take a break. I'm going to do a pattern right here for this. I'm going to do green. And then... I'm going to do dark green and light green. Oh, I like that idea. I can't yeah. wait to see how it turns out. Mm-hmm. I'll show you when I'm done. Okay. Oh, I did the same green as you. This. Oh, we did the same green. Yeah, but I'm going to do that one, too. All right. I'm done with my hearts. Now I'm going to pick a color for the outside. Um, let's see. Mm, I did orange. Um, you can. Maybe purple. Mm -hmm. I think I'll do purple. Over the outside. Is this purple? Yeah. No, here, I can hand you purple from mine if you don't have one. 
Oh, wait, I found it. It was it was hiding. I know blue and purple are harder to tell the difference. Yeah, cause okay. you know they're almost like the same, but not really. All right. So Sarah's almost done designing the outside of her bear. And then she's gonna do her actual bear. I did my bear first, and now I'm doing the um, the uh, background. Here, mommy, I'll draw light so it doesn't shake. Cause when I draw hard, it shakes. I know it's just inevitable for this video. The table's a little wobbly, but. So we're going to end this video super soon, super soon. Yeah. And cause I think everybody gets the idea what to do next for all six squares. If you don't, just I'll repeat the directions before I sign off. Yeah. All you gotta do is sharpen and color a pencil and, and then I'm going to actually, <laughs> um, I'm going to be sending out a video at the end of the month to tell you exactly how I'd like you guys to turn your art in so <laughs> that, um, the, how the teachers would like you to turn the art in. Like I said, we really are aiming to make art portfolios this year, if possible. So if you want an art portfolio created for all your beautiful work, you need to turn it in. I'm done with my outside and I accidentally put that right there because I was doing that and I already put that when I was doing that. Okay. But then I, I'm okay with that and then I got a little teeny bit green. I'm, I'm glad that you're okay with that. Yeah, sometimes we make mistakes and sometimes those mistakes, <laughs> you can't do anything to fix it and that's all right. Oh, here it is. Yeah, because uh, art is not perfect. That's right. All right, so Sarah's on to her, the head of her bear. I'm gonna do it the wrap. Right. And I am going to wrap up the background here. I like here. this brown. I'm going to do it with this brown. It's like... Okay, sounds good. Coffee. <laughs> Dark brown, coffee brown. Yeah. I'm probably going to do it yours black. Inside? Yeah, can I color it with a Sharpie? Yeah, I, you know, I colored in the nose with the Sharpie and I colored in the, the eyes and the little uh, oval and circles inside the paws. I'm going to do a little bit for the eyes, but I'm going to leave a lot with color. With white? I'm going to do it with the tail one. Sure. Yeah, I'm leaving the whites of the, the eyes of my bear. I'm going to leave them white. That's the only thing that I'm leaving white on this whole uh, five inch by five inch square. Oh, I should do the back because it's pretty All right, Sarah's pretty. almost done. Are you going to do a Sharpie uh, on the inside of your ears, too? Is that what you said? Uh, yes. Okay. All right, Sarah's almost done. I'm almost done. It looks like we're going to be finished. Sarah and I are going to be finishing together. Looks like the timing is just right. And then we're going to um, wrap up this part of the lesson. Wait, Mom, this are is you going to even do, um, do the other bears, or are you just going to skip it because... Wait, do you make a portfolio for yourself? <laughs> you know, honey, I don't make a portfolio for myself because if I did, I'd have, I'd have a lot of portfolios. I, I save the, these samples and every year I build up my samples so that I can show the next class. So for Zach's class, I'm going to have uh, a lot of samples to show him. Oh, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> do I have a whole bunch? Oh, it's right. We don't want sorry. That's okay. All right, I just finished my square. Sarah is super close to finishing hers. Can I can I give you a suggestion, Sarah? Uh, yeah. See how you did those lines for the forehead? You could do a different brown. Mm -hmm. You could do like a light brown. I'm gonna do. I was thinking about. That. You were thinking about that? Okay, that's just a suggestion. All right, so I'm gonna put mine back up so you can see mine. I have one done. I'm almost done. Can we wait until I'm done? To yes, I will wait for you. Then. So then my your next steps because you have already sharpied all six of them. We have it. Your next step is to color the rest of your six. 
When you are done, I want you to flip all of them over on the back. Actually, I'd like you to do that right now. So whatever you are doing right now, I want you to stop. Everybody, everybody right now stop. Don't do it with Sharpie. Nope, grab a pencil. Everybody's doing this right now. Do you have a pencil in your hand? Yes. Okay, if you have a pencil in your hand, we are gonna do our name in an area on the back of our square that does not have any Sharpie bleeding through so that I can find your name. So this is a big area that has zero Sharpie, right? So I'm gonna write Amy. That's how you spell it. I'm name. gonna write Sarah. Sarah's gonna write Sarah. Yeah, that's a great place right there. And I'm not doing it really light, but you were supposed to do this a little light because if you. I need to be able to read your name can on you read all mine? six of them. I can read them. So stop right now coloring. I want you to write your name on the back of all six squares. Six times your name needs to be written right now but not on one of these spots because it can't really see. i need to be able to see it once you've written your name on all six go ahead and keep coloring sarah's almost done coloring so i wrote my name on the back now i can keep coloring i can keep listening to music i can take a break i can come back later today i can come back tomorrow the goal is to finish all six by the due date that that, that Maestra gives you whatever due date she told you it needs to be done. Have it all ready to go. And for sure, I need it all finished and handed in at the October material pickup date. And I am done. Okay, so hand me yours so we can show two finished mm -hmm. squares. I decided to do um, a coffee um, brown, but I decided to do a little... Um, a lighter one because uh, I like the color and you suggested that and I was gonna do that. You so, were, so. okay. Okay, so ours are totally uniquely different and I am enjoying how they're turning out. So thank you, Sarah, for uh, participating in this entire lesson with me. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Ma, I think I'm gonna do one more. I think I'm gonna do this one right now if I even have time um, yeah. before we make dinner and then, okay. and then I'm gonna, if I don't finish it, I can finish tomorrow, and I'm probably gonna do some tomorrow while he's doing it. Okay, lesson. sounds good, let's sign up. Thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did, and we will see you for our next art lesson.